Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we'll be taking a look at how the Glacier Chain Twist Link Tire Chains with the Cam Tensioners fit on the 2023 Chevrolet Suburban. So these are twist link chains, great for if you need a little extra traction on the road. With those twist links, this is going to be good for extremely snowy weather. Not as much though for ice. So if you're expecting a little bit of ice, you want to, might want to take a look at some square link chains. For your Suburban, you also have some different tire sizes. So double check yours. The one we are working on right now has a tire size of 265-65R18. Double check your sidewall for your tire size. That number is important because you can use that here at eTrailer.com. Put in your year, make, model, select your tire size, and then you can find the tire chains that fit you. With ladder style chains, you have an affordable but also popular style of traction on your tire. What is gonna happen is compared to diamond pattern chains, they don't cover as much and you will hear a da -dun, da -dun as you drive around, but it's nice to know that everything is in place and you also have some cam tensioners here. You will have a similar style of ladder chain available here at eTrailer without the cam tensioner if you choose to get that. This rubber tensioner is not included, but highly recommended as well. These are what the twist links look like. So the pros of twist links is that snow is less likely to clump on them compared to your square links, but they still give that extra traction. These are gonna be made of a low carbon steel. And what that means is you have a good amount of durability. The downside though to steel is that they tend to rust more than the alloys. So if you're planning on using this for multiple seasons, I recommend storing them inside a tote with some oil or else they may rust together. But if you are using this just for an emergency scenario to keep inside of your vehicle for when you need them, this is still a solid and affordable choice. When your chains arrive, they're going to arrive in this canvas bag. Now the canvas bag is good for just storing it once or keeping it inside your vehicle for emergency purposes, but not ideal for long, the long term. If you are gonna be using this, I recommend putting an extra set of gloves inside your canvas bag or inside your emergency kit. You can then use a cable tie or a rubber band to secure the top. If you're going to be using your chains more than once, then I recommend transferring them to a plastic tote and maybe have some oil in there to prevent them from rusting together and that you can store inside of your vehicle. Now we do have these installed on our rear axle as recommended in the owner's manual and as recommended by the tire chain manufacturer, please do not drive faster than 30 miles per hour. Now, if you have extreme weather conditions, you really shouldn't be driving super fast anyways. So with this on your tires, these are not class S compatible. So depending on your tire size, you might have limited wheel well clearance behind your tire, and that's when you need class S chains. If that's not an issue for you though, these are larger chains, which do give you a little extra traction. If you're looking for something easier to get onto your tire and you do not want to make any connections in the back, check out the Koenig XG12s as alternatives for ease of use. But for something that's solid, reliable, pretty much everyone uses, this might still work out for you. Let's take a look at that install process. When you get your chains, I highly recommend straight away just laying them out in your garage, getting familiar with how to put them on your tire, as well as just double checking that they do fit your specific tire. Now there's different ways of installing ladder style chains. This is gonna be just one of them. This is gonna be the way I do it, which is easiest to do in your garage without having to roll or drive onto them, but it really is up to you and whatever situation you find yourself in. Here we have our chains. They look good. Just double check them, make sure they're not tangled or rusted through. Make sure that they are all facing the right way. So notice how we have a hook and then we also have a flat end of the hook. So you want the flat end on your tires, the hook facing away from your tires. So in this case, we have the flat end on the ground. And also you're gonna have this other end which has the cams. You want this facing out and away from your car. So with that all set up and facing the right way, you just drape these onto your tire. So try to get an even length on each side 
So this looks pretty even. We'll adjust this a little bit. And then we're going to go into the back to make our first connection. We have our length of chain, and then on the other side we have a hook. So this is a pre pretty medium fit for the specific tire size. So I'm gonna go for this third chain. Now you can go back and forth and use different lengths depending on how much tension you get right off the bat. Now for your front, it's gonna be exact same thing. You've got some links and you have that hook. So let's attach that. And we still have some slack. So we're gonna tighten this down with our cam tensioners. You have a tool included. So you just rotate these and then they bring the chains together. You're gonna have three, four of these tensioners. So just go until you have a good amount of tension or you run out of cam tensioners. So this is a really good fit right here. You can see as I try to shake the chains, there's pretty much barely any movement. But what's gonna happen is as you drive around, there will still be a little bit of shifting. So I still recommend picking up these rubber tensioners. They are sold separately. You can get one on your own. And as you install them, just go up, down, left, and right, and diagonally. And just like that, you installed your tire chains, you test fit them in your garage, do the exact same thing on the other side. Afterwards, I recommend rolling forward or backward a couple feet and then just double checking that everything is in place. If your chains do shift around, this tensioner will shift around with it, making a secure fit around your tires. That's it, you're ready to hit the road. And that right there was a look at the Glacier Chain Twist Link Snow Tire Chains with cam tensioners here on our 2023 Chevrolet Suburban.